Hey everybody, it's Jamie here. And if you are new to my channel, welcome to Travel Blog Jamie. If you've been here before, you cheeky little minxes, thank you so much for your support and being back here. Welcome home. So this is part two of our Morella Discovery American Dream Cruise. What do you mean what happened to part one? Let's rewind and have a look, shall we? So this is a one week fly cruise sailing from Port Canaveral, Florida to Grand Bahama, then north to New York for two days, south to Charleston, South Carolina, and back to Port Canaveral, Florida. Do you fancy coming along for a week? You do, don't you? Come with us. Are you ready for the continuation? I think so. Coming up in part two, we continue our tour of the Big Apple, some sobering moments, and plenty of what makes this city so special. We experience sail away from Corolla Speciality Dining, our second sea day, afternoon tea and dinner at the Glass House, our day in Charleston, South Carolina, disembarkation information, one final sunrise, a royal sail in, and our flight home. Morning everybody, it's day two in good old New York City. First up, we're heading to Island's Buffet Breakfast. Cabin, elevator, straight up breakfast. Islands in the stream. <laughs> Even when it's busy in here, it's still very, very manageable. It's not too busy right now though. I'll be using this very handy food ratings grid to review every meal on board and ashore. Little Matthew breakfast. That's my omelette right there. Et voila. Oh, that smells delicious. And ashore we go again. Day two, I'm coming for you. I'm gonna be broken by the end of it. <laughs> right, welcome to Battery Park. We took an Uber from our cruise terminal for $30. This is actually quite a long way, folks. Of course, you can get the underground. We just wanted to get here quickly. It's an early start. We are heading to Liberty Island. Oh my goodness. Did I just say underground? I think I meant subway. Whoopsie. Iced coffee. <laughs> so that taxi journey was about 25 minutes in total. Nice and easy. Good leisurely start to the day. To reach Liberty Island and the Statue of Liberty, you need to take a ferry from Battery Park. There are three types of tickets available. The first is just access to Liberty Island. The second gives you access to the pedestal of the Statue of Liberty and its museum. And the third type of ticket gives you access to the crown and again, the museum. There you go, entrance. Uh, we are pedestal. Couldn't get tickets for the crown of the Statue of Liberty. You need to book way in advance for that. Obviously you have different options for this. We pay $49 for our um, ferry over to Liberty Island. Plus we are going to be heading up to the pedestal um, on the statue. Here we go, Miss Liberty. And off we go. Who booked this one? Matthew booked this one. Whose idea was it? Welcome to Liberty Island. How exciting is this? I'm literally wetting myself. Matthew's like, there's a cafe, there's a cafe. The backside of the Statue of Liberty. Yeah, like, he's a good lad. He's got everything on his phone, hasn't he? Sometimes he comes in useful. Don't judge us, we're doing the elevator. It's 36 degrees, folks. So when you come out of the elevator, there's still uh, a flight of steps to navigate. Well, that's definitely a unique perspective. Just looking up her skirt. It sounds terrible, doesn't it? If you are fortunate enough to get tickets to go to the Crown, that's your staircase. You're gonna need to navigate 162 more stairs to arrive at the Crown. All right, I'm not totally lazy. We're gonna take the stairs down. Now then, if you have tickets to the pedestal or the crown, you also get access to all these different tiered areas around the base. If you don't have access to the pedestal or the crown, you are gonna get great views actually from the riverside. And that's the observation area of the pedestal. And as ticket holders, you also have access to the museum. Look, Matthew pretending to read and to be knowledgeable. 
He hasn't actually learned how to read yet. Let's try it. And without tickets, if you're just coming to Liberty Island to have a wander, to get some pictures, this is going to be your view. And back we go, the ferries every 25 to 30 minutes. Bye, lady. Oh, look at all the people waiting to get on board. This is why we do things early, folks. Oh, it goes all the way back into the tent. All right, about a 10 minute walk from Battery Park, you've got the One World Trade Center, which is where we're heading now. Well, this is quite difficult to fathom. This is uh, where the South Tower was located. And all the names of the fallen around the outside. I believe it was about 2,800 people who lost their lives. And this is where the North Tower stood. And it's right at the foot of One World Trade Center. So over here you've got the Memorial Museum and at One World Trade Center you can actually purchase tickets for the observation platform and opposite that site you have the oculus no i don't know what it is we're going to go and find out oh wow and there you go it's a shopping center but a unique one pit stop in a posh starbucks this is the starbucks reserve bar i think there's only one of these in the uk at the moment Matthew's got a nice seat over there, a little couch. Oh, I love this, look. Alphabetical. They're going to pop my drink by that J, I hope. Oh, geek Arama! Look, it's the Ghostbusters headquarters. Yes! My life is now complete. So who are you going to call? It's not me. You can't call me. Don't call me. We got one! And now, welcome to Greenwich Village, where we think they have one of the best pizzas on the planet. Oh yeah, we found it, Bleecker Street Pizza. Oh, this is going to be so cool. Uh, we've got pepperoni, Nonna Maria and Chipotle chicken. Buonissima. Is it as good as Angelo's? It's really good though. The claim is it's the best pizza in New York, three years in a row. Uh, we prefer the pizza at Angelo's, by the way, just saying. Right, we're taking the subway. Please pray for me. I am not looking forward to this in this heat. Okay, this has amazing air con. Thank you, New York. So that was line one. Uh, it only took us about 10 minutes to get from uh, Greenwich up to Times Square. You just touch in with your contactless card. It costs $2.75 no matter where you go on the line. It's actually super, super easy. Welcome to Times Square. Oh my God, it's busy here. I am very, very pleased to hear that. Thank you. Yeah. I love how bonkers it is here. Yeah, bye bye bye. Oh my God, this is crazy. Oh, Disney store, I'm going in. Where are we? Disney store. Disney store. Who wants to come here? Jamie. Who's I not? I like the 23 nights in Orlando, Disney World. Yeah, but what if I could get a nice t-shirt to take with us? Huh? i get a nice t-shirt to take with us. Well, we'll see, shall we? We Let's will see. see. Thank you, Matthew. Okay, I didn't find anything, but there is a Minnie Mouse dressed up as the Statue of Liberty down here. I want a picture. 
just getting postcards for my tier four patrons. I'm thinking of you. Holy shawarma, I'm like that bloody witch from the Wizard of Oz. I'm melting. Back on the ship we go. Wow, well, that was an awesome two days in New York City. I can't wait to start editing this vlog for you. Kind of be fat. I need Diet Coke with about a ton of ice. <laughs> oh my god, I need this. Oh, <laughs> that's the best. It is so cold. It's beautiful. Thank you, J -j 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 Jamie. Well, my love, so I have finally stopped sweating my cojones off. Thank goodness. Beautiful shower in the cabin, freshened up. Time for vodka. Matthew, why are you running? You are running. Come back. Slow. I'm not slow. I'm not slow. You're just grumpy. We're still here in NYC. Slightly delayed departure tonight. No problem. Hurrah, we're back in bar 11. My favorite bar on board, but don't tell anybody that. I don't want them all rushing up here. Nice spot, Matthew. Thank you very much. Cheers, Matthew. What a lovely view. Gonna have a nice sail out, aren't we? I don't think these vodkas are singles. This is number three, but it feels like number six. Oh, thank God, it's dinner time. I'm actually really hungry. We are going Korala. I could eat a scabby horse and pony. Welcome to Korala. This is Pan Asian Speciality Dining on board Morella. It's £26.95 per adult. That seems quite a lot, and the price has certainly risen over the last number of years. However, we are about to sail out of New York City and we have the best views. So I'm really looking forward to this. Also, I hope they do something like really, really spicy. I want a lot of spice tonight. All right, so as we have been seated, we've got some white wine, um, poppadoms, naan, and dips. I didn't mean to say dips. I meant to say like sauces, accompaniments. I'm a travel blogger. Question is, what would you order? Please do drop those comments below because I'd love to hear from you. Yes, I'm drunk. And what? Sue me. Oh my God. I wonder if they do like super, super spicy. Oh, I told you about accompaniments, didn't I? Oh yes. Chin chin, Matthew. What are you doing with your face? Chewing. Chewing? It looks like you swallowed a, a wasp or something. Naan bread. Naan bread. Not a wasp. <laughs> Alrighty, so you, you get some complimentary sushi to start with. That's a no from me. Sorry, no seafood, no fish. But Matthew will eat them, I'm sure. Here he goes. Oh my God. Oh. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you've seen this yet, but somebody has literally sliced off a third of Buddha's face. Cheers, Matthew. Oh, I missed you. Hang on, come back, come back. I missed you. Yes. Have you even done a cheers if your glass doesn't smash into a thousand shards? No. Chicken Shanghai for Matthew. And I have the ribs. It's all ink, isn't it? In these restaurants, they just keep topping your wine up. Holy macaroni. Maple, you know you've got shimmering stars around you, don't you? Yeah. Is that a sign? No. No, I didn't think so either, actually. Oh, the horn's been honking and off we go. New York City has been a total pleasure, but I'm broken. <laughs> what do you think that sign says? New York Sailaway. New York, you're a fucking good liar. What did you just say to me it was? New York Sailaway. He just said it, Matthew Sailaway, little Matthew Sailaway. He said M A F F O O. And now what are you saying? New York Sailaway. New York, he's such a liar. You don't know the real Matthew, folks, I swear. He sits on a throne of lies. I'm going to catch him out later, though. You mark my words. Matthew's just told me he wants us to move to Queens. I don't think they'd let people like us in here, though. Concrete jungle where dreams are made of. There's nothing you can do. Oh, keep it coming. Right, I asked for this chicken Rogan Josh to be so spicy that it was gonna literally 
make me internally combust. Is that right? Is that the right thing to say? Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at this for a sail out, just as we're about to tuck into our curry. <laughs> Matthew's got the madras. Oh, well, yeah. I need to ask for it very, it. very, very spicy. We've got naan, korala fried rice, onion bhaji, and what is known as red lentils that look quite greeny gray. Look at that. Awesome. Ooh, my mouth is on fire. Fire. Oh, the views continue, folks. Well, look, we've eaten every single scrap. No doubt about it. That was delicious. And of course, your desserts and hot beverage. Unholy deep fried battered cheesecake. Holy hell. I would like to say that this is certainly a highlight. Is that true? The best dessert. The best dessert. A bit of deep fried cheesecake. Mm, it's not too sweet either, is it? Great. Really good. Just in case you want to know what a deep fried cheesecake looks like, well, you're welcome. No, we are, we are. Oh my God, it's going to chop off everyone in Corolla. Thank God I got out in time. Woohoo, we love you. Bye, New York City. You're awesome. I miss you already. Oh, look, that's Coney Island. I'm going there the next time. Enrique Iglesias. Oh gosh, no. It's just Enrique. Enrique? Oh my god, I don't know. Ooh. Holy shawarma, we got an elephant. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, he's got big ears like Matthew, look. <laughs> I didn't give you a lasting summary of Corolla, did I? And it's really important that I do that. Every single course at Corolla was mwah, honestly absolutely superb i just kind of feel that for nearly 27 pounds they should just be you know rolling out the rice and the naan and that kind of stuff as opposed to sort of rationing you that's my only critique um otherwise it was delicious the service was great the views ooh, fabulous holy macaroni look what i found in the cupboard we still got pringles Oh look, it's the cruise news. I wonder if anyone has posted a message for me. I wait with beta breath every single day. Oh no, geez, why? It's bedtime. Sea day tomorrow, followed by Charleston. Oh, that's gonna be steamy. Good night for now, my darlings. I love you all. I don't know whose toilet that was. It wasn't mine. Mwah. Good morning, everybody. It is sea day, it's breakfast time, and we are going to 47 degrees. Thank you. Just in case you didn't see part one, when we were in the main dining room for breakfast, here's a look at the menu. It is Friday today, so the specials are Buttermilk pancakes and sourdough toast with avocado and bacon. A little bit of fruit to start with. All right, let's see what the eggs like. Ooh, yeah. That's how I like them. Mahusive omelets in the main dining room. So one of the things I love about the main dining room for breakfast on board is that it's nice and calm. We actually went in at about 8.15 a.m. and as you could see, not too busy at all. I think everyone's knackered from New York, to be honest with you, uh, but a really nice start today. Uh, the crew are fantastic. They're so efficient in there as well. I recommend it. Alrighty, before I settle into this sea day, uh, vlogger duties recommence. I am going to go and do my filming for um, the ship tour and review of Morella Discovery. Ordinarily on a large ship, uh, it might take me up to two and a half hours to film. As this is a mid-sized ship, oh, I feel what a treat this is today. Maybe an hour? I'll let you know. I'll be back after. Hopefully I'll find Matthew um, with a nice spot on prom deck waiting for me. Here we go. And there you go, tour done. I'm a mess, I'm sweating, it's very hot out, it's very windy. Hopefully I kept the camera steady. It's my iPhone 12, by the way. No, I'm not using any other sort of 
wizardry and gadgets. I just can't, my IT skills are awful. And that took about one hour to walk the ship and do all the filming. Not too bad, time to relax now. Right, so I'm just minding my own business and this lovely lady comes over and says she recognised the back of my head, is that right? That's right. Yeah. Yesterday as we were getting off for New York, I saw the back of the head and I thought, I know that bloke. Yeah, it's a very square head, isn't it? <laughs> um, so this is your first ever cruise, yes? Yes, it is. Gosh, I can't believe how many people have said that to me. Um, so what's been your highlight? Um, oh God, it's hard to describe everything. <laughs> <laughs> Every port, we've had fantastic time. Uh, the crew are fantastic. Housekeeping are absolutely adorable. <laughs> so, <laughs> and you know what? Everyone who's uh, featured has said the same thing about the crew and the itinerary. So Morella do brilliant itineraries. Yes. So you've been spoiled. Yes. You know. Are you going to do another one? Definitely. <laughs> I've got catalogues coming. Yes. For, oh, I love it. waiting at home. <laughs> love a catalogue. Well, look, thank you so much for appearing. Very That's brave okay. of you. Thank you. And I did keep from here upwards, I promise Good. you. <laughs> All right, take care and have a good rest thank of your you. week. Who got you a coffee? Who? No one. He can't say it. He can't say it. I got you a coffee. Where? Where? There it is. There it is. You can't hide the proof, Matthew. Proof is in the coffee. I can't handle the proof. I can't handle the proof. Well, there's the coffee. Handy little tip for you folks. The main dining room is open for lunch only on sea days. And you may or may not have noticed that the menu in the main dining room is almost identical to that in Island's Buffet. We've got a dance class here in the atrium. They're just warming up. Who got you a coat? Jamie, that's right. You see, always helping. It's windy. Oh, we are onking the awns. By the way, I absolutely love all the salad offerings in the buffet. I'm not a salad type, as you probably realise, <laughs> but don't laugh at me, Matthew. Uh, I love it here. Health, 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 darlings. Goes to get to yeah. Well, this is, this is a good one. A cheese factory exploded in France. Debris was everywhere. Debris. Uh, absolute classic. At last, Matthew's got me a coffee today. Thank you, Matthew. Oh, a bit of line dancing. Oh, they're so good at it as well, aren't they? Take it back. Set. Dance. Oh, this one's much trickier, folks. Right, left, step, step, oh. step right, cross left, step right, step Well done, everybody. Well done. Who thinks he's going to be Team Pineapple? Oh, yeah, I'm Team Pineapple. Oh, oh he's never oh, looked better. Did you know that Morella offer a formal afternoon tea called The Great Musical? We've never done this, but if you have, I'd love to hear from you. Please drop your comments below. If you'd rather not pay for your afternoon tea, well, head to Islands. Look who's got some traveling treats for Maffle. Look, Matthew. Oh, yeah, I'd love a coffee. Look what I got for you. Tea. Is that nice? Yeah, that's nice. Who looks after you? Jamie. That's right. Who's today, anyway? Oh. Alrighty, welcome to the glass house area. This has had a major makeover since I was last on board a number of years ago. Uh, it's much better as well. So this is the indoor pool area. There are lots of comfy lounges. There are day beds dotted around. Nice comfy couches. Of course, the pièce de résistance is this glorious pool. It's also um, indoors, so all weather, all seasons. There are a couple rather large whirlpools in here as well. This area here is the Glass House Restaurant by Night, which is included in your cruise fare. Uh, no reservations necessary, just rock up. By day, it's much more casual here. Um, they've got a range of salads, as you can see. Uh, they also do paninis. Tandoori chicken panini is gorgeous. Plus, you've got a selection of pizza. You also have fries, of course, different cakes. 
corn on the cob and they also do a number of different pasta dishes as well. The glass house is where you'll also find late night snacks from 10 p.m. until 1 a.m. including things like deli counter, fries, burger and there's always a curry every night as well. Not that I know, of course, because I already eat loads. Why would I need late night snacks? There's also a bar here plus an area for hot drinks, water and juices as well. And on this side you've got about six day beds, enough for three people, I know. Um, you want to bag these early in the day though folks, they are super, super popular, obviously. Have you noticed very comfy lounges in here as well? Oh yes. Let's do this. Happy days. Try not to drown as I swim backwards holding my phone. I don't recommend it. All freshened up and ready for the soiree. Right, we are eating at the glass house. Oh, what of you? Matthew's making decisions. I'll get one of these, please. See that one? Yeah, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. I think they've transformed this area really nicely for uh, dinner. It's definitely a step up from those cruise lines where you have speciality dining in the buffet. So listen up, folks. This meal is included in your cruise fare. Uh, the way it works is you either have three tapas each or a sharing board. That's your starter. You then get one main and one side and a dessert. If you choose the loaded nachos or one of the world skewers or indeed the signature dessert that's going to cost you i believe anything from five pounds cheers matthew can't believe it's the penultimate night already chin chin time passes so quickly because sun comes up sun goes down you heard it here first already i've got tortilla española patatas bravas and croquetas smells really good is that nice yeah I said I'd pay for that. Yeah, Matthew it's just said he'd absolutely pay, pay for that. For I hope no one from Morella's watching this, but well, it was... I want more. <laughs> it was delicious though, and the patatas bravas, actually the tomato um, sauce was spicy, which it should be. Very good. Well done, Morella. <laughs> Pepperoni pizza for Matthew. Capzone for Jamie with spicy beef and green pepper. Another cheers. Bailey's Cheesecake for Matthew. Wow, what a surprise. That was lovely. Really enjoyed that calzone. Uh, recommend you head to the glass house, but if you do, get there early. It is super, super popular. Or maybe go on your first or second night, okay? You have been warned and advised. Right, we're in the live room now for a little bit of the pianist, a little bit of tinkering away. We love a bit of tinkering, don't we? Nearly showtime for Bird's Diner. Very American sounding. Oh look, back in the cabin and I think that's a rat. It's got to be a rat. It's not a mouse, is it? It's a rat. We love you. Oh, I love a cruise news. Info about our arrival into Charleston, South Carolina. Let's see if anyone has sent me a special message. Uh, da, da, da. No, the hell? So I have been asked online about Wi-Fi on board and whether or not I've purchased it. Well, this is probably the first cruise ever I've not purchased a Wi-Fi package. Here's why. Here's all the information on the Wi-Fi available on board. Unlike other cruise lines, Morella packages are based on the amount of megabytes you want to use, so you need to be careful as smartphones can burn through data. 200 megabytes is the cheapest package, going up to 5,000 megabytes for the most expensive. Honestly, this is my least favorite Wi-Fi package at sea, and I would not be tempted to purchase this. Just writing out postcards for my tier four patrons. I wanna make sure you know I am doing this on the job. When I say on the job, you know I mean cruising, don't you? Not like on the toilet. Alrighty, it is bedtime, my darlings. I know you're wondering why is he not having any nibbles, but did you not see the size of that calzone earlier? It's shush time for me. Charleston tomorrow, excited, can't wait. I'll see you in the morning. Good night for now. Big kiss, yes, ready, sloppy one? Mwah. 
Morning everybody, it's breakfast time and welcome to Charleston, South Carolina. Couple of pancakes and banana. Ooh, it's stormy and rainy here in Charleston this morning. Due to pass about 11, thankfully. As I predicted, the storm has cleared. Blue skies on the way and we are going to disembark and enjoy a little bit of southern charm, hopefully. Right folks, so here's the pier to disembark the ship and not very far, actually about 10 minute walk along here, you've got the French Quarter. That's what I'm super interested in. Duly noted. Let's do this. Proof that it really did rain heavily here. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's so pretty. About 30 degrees here today, by the way, in case you're wondering. Steamy. Oh, it's so charming here. Beautiful. Here, the pineapple fountain. Are you a team pineapple? Hmm? There's really no need to do a tour or excursion here. Uh, everything is perfectly walkable. I think most of the sites within 10, 15 minutes from the ship. Save some money. All right, really is picture postcard. Um, we're now approaching Rainbow Row. City Hall here. Oh, it's always Christmas in my heart. I've got to be honest with you. Sweet class baskets. Which are you, Deccan, Chief Suit, or Bosun? Oh, food hall. This looks awesome. This is the food hall. Not too far from the ship. Uh, lots of street food. Matthew's going in for a smash. Matthew will smash. Puebla chicken tacos and street corn for me with some very spicy sauce. So this is the port of call. It's a food and brew hall. Awesome. Matthew's got a, oh, he's got a beer from Charleston. I like it here. Yeah. yeah, who's boozing now? Who's boozing? Oh, Matthew, and Matthew and Jamie. We set up here for the day quite yeah. nicely. Love in Charleston. Yeah. I've gone with a spicy margarita. <laughs> Oh yes. Cheers, Matthew. Nom nom nom. Oh my gosh, a pineapple hut. Oh yes. I ventured away, but I'm, I'm lucky enough to, uh, to still be here in Charleston. The local theater. Beautiful. Wetting my cojones off again, folks. Anyway, hopefully that was proof enough that you can indeed see Charleston on foot without paying for any kind of excursions or tours. What a fantastic city, love it. But it is back to the ship now. Please try and get a bit further than fleet landing. Thank you, iced coffee gods, goddesses, with every ounce of my being, every bone in my body, every drop of blood running through my veins, thank you. Over the top. Bye Charleston, we love you. Oh, that final sail away before you start heading home. Oh, I'm not crying, you're crying. Oh, look, those pelicans. Oh, amazing. It's time to pack. Gotta happen at some point, can't keep putting it off. I never can say goodbye, no, 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 no. Here's the lowdown on the disembarkation process. First things first, your luggage. You'll need to leave this outside 
your cabin on your last night by 2 a.m. so that the crew can take it to the departure lounge ready for you to collect when you disembark. You will have a coloured label delivered to your cabin. You need to write your name, cabin number on it and attach it to your cases. You will need to make sure you vacate your cabin by 9 a.m. at the latest on the morning of disembarkation. If you do not do this, you will be thrown into prison. Leave your blue pool towels in your cabin, otherwise you'll be charged £15,000 each one. Dining options will be made clear to you and I would recommend going to every single one of them. I'm just joking, obviously. If you're heading back to Blighty, you'll be given a departure time. So as you can see, we are flying to London Gatwick and our departure time is 12 p.m. Apparently, there'll be a tannoy announcement uh, to let you know when they are ready for you to disembark the ship. Uh, find your luggage and make sure it makes its way onto the coach for the transfer to the airport. If you're staying on in Florida, well, you'll be given a separate departure time and goodness me, aren't you lucky? You even get pink labels. I'm absolutely certain it's all going to run like clockwork. I mean, what could go wrong? And if you'd like to find out about the Melbourne, Florida experience and overnight red eye back to London Gatwick, then just search travel blog Jamie, Melbourne, Florida to London Gatwick. It's that easy. It's dinner time. Main dining room, 47 degrees for us for the last time. If you want to know the official line about dress codes for dinner in the main dining rooms, well, here you are. One more time, do, 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 I gotta celebrate. And on today's menu, I think I'm gonna have two starters. Good evening. Cheers, Matthew. Last night, chicken and peri peri. And a lamb consomme. I told you I was having two starters. I very rarely have burgers, but I'm going for it. And I've got a double meat palace. Pop culture reference. That is a beast. A little bit of atrium in it, Matthew. I've got an Irish coffee of all things. I haven't had one of those since I was about five years old and my mum and dad used to try and get me to sleep early. <laughs> Matthew just said I don't blame them. Typical. I mean, that's like child abuse. You know that, don't you? He's advocating child abuse. Little simple to Matthew playing cards. Look, do you even know what you're doing? Yes. Yeah, I bet you don't. He's literally just moving things around. He doesn't know what he's doing at all. Do. No, you don't. Right, it's time. Oh my God. Out you go, my little yellow marvel. My little yellow custard ball. Bye, see you tomorrow, God willing. Uh, here goes Mr. Googly Eyes. See you later, Mr. Googly, we love you. Oh, seem to have replenished the hot and spicy ones. Right, my darlings, it's time for Betty Buys. Lovely day today. Hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. I will see you tomorrow for disembarkation, which will be awesome, I'm sure. Love to you all. Gonna give you a massive one tonight. All right, ready? Good morning, everybody. It's still Jamie here. It's disembarkation day. It's 6 a.m. I don't know why I'm awake so early, but I thought I'd make the most of the opportunity and film our sail into Port Canaveral, especially as I missed the sail out due to us arriving on the ship so late. Let's go. Well, the coffee, tea, water and juice station is open. Thank you, Marilla. Coffee, Brian Adams and sunrise. Well, why not, eh? worth it. He looks longingly onto the horizon. <sighs> oh look, it's Cape Canaveral. One last breakfast at our beloved islands. Oh, go away. I don't need reminding of that. One more pancakes and banana. I know I'm boring. And in we come. Can I have 
Ooh, I do love a bit of ship spotting from a ship, on a ship, from a ship. Captain Chris is pirouetting gracefully. Ritualistic farewell to the cabin. Bye, bed. You were really comfy. I slept brilliantly. I'll miss you. Bye, carafe. Love you. Bye, Matthew. Bye, plastic bathroom. Miss you already. Bye, cabin 2012. Hurrah, the only time we've been able to get a spot around the main pool. Disembarkation day. I've got three hours left until they take me off the ship. That is mine. Oh, I think we can have a little dip this morning, don't you? Yeah, one last dip. Oh, it's hot tub time. Ooh, that is nice. Alrighty, before we begin our long journey home, let's talk about the week in general and how we got on with Morella Discovery. Well, first of all, the crew are awesome. Always smiling, always friendly, always happy to help. They are a huge asset to Morella and they know it. <laughs> the food. Well, online, some people criticize Morella and the quality of the food. I have to say, we actually enjoyed our meals very much. No, it's not fine dining, but it's good. The speciality restaurant Corolla was exceptional. Morella Discovery is indeed a fun, family-friendly ship and it absolutely succeeds in these areas. There's loads going on for the young ones, the teens and families in general, much less so however for adults. I know you're gonna say to me, well go on Explorer 2, it's adults only, but she's not doing this awesome itinerary. I'm just saying I would have liked a little bit more for adults who travel without children. That's all. Two other criticisms. One, sorry, and this is not to be controversial, there are a number of smokers on board, that's fine, you've got your own areas to go and smoke, who just take no notice of that at all and they're smoking anywhere they want. I mean, come on now. And finally, the flight. Every single week since this route has started, that flight from London Gatwick has been severely delayed and indeed our return flight later today has been delayed because it was running three hours late from Gatwick. So clearly there's an issue. Um, do something about it. Anyway, we really enjoy the Morella brand. I would recommend it if you haven't tried before. We are heading off on Morella Voyager this October on a med cruise. So you are gonna wanna come and explore that. For now, it's time to disembark and fly home. Let's see what this process is all about. It'll be about checking in and flying home probably and being delayed. Nonetheless, come with me. I'll make it exciting, I promise you. <laughs> And we are now calling the last flight, which is London Gatwick. That's all possible. Here we go. Bye. Bye, bye. Thank you. If you're getting on board today, have a lovely time. You're heading to Amber Cove, Dominican Republic, I believe. Oh, I remember this bridge as if it were a week ago. So you need to find your luggage in the terminal. We didn't have to do any passport checks there at all. And then you head to your shuttle to the airport. And we're on. Good aircon on here. Alrighty, welcome to Melbourne Airport, Florida. As soon as you come through the entrance, the check-in desk for TUI is right in front of you. Super efficient and super friendly. Alrighty, security time. Security all done. That took about mm, 20 minutes in total. And our chariot has arrived. Hurrah! After five hours at the airport, we are finally boarding. Hurrah. But will this really be the worst seat in the house? We'll find out. And there we are, right next to the loo. level 8 case. We're all done and priorities. Here's to the next trip. It's literally in a few days. <laughs>
Really hope you enjoyed this Morello series and thank you as always for your support. Shout outs from America go to Gaynor, Mike, Sean, Alison, Matt, Stephanie, Alan, Melissa, Liz, Dave, Kelly, KM Cooper, Lisa, Liz, Alan, Paul, Tim, The Travelling Hatter, Sam, Jody and Joe, Paul, Charles and Jules and Kevin and Nick. As always, thank you for watching and don't forget to follow Travel Blog Jamie on X, Instagram, Threads, Patreon and YouTube.